Hi, welcome to Mortgage Wise with Mike Wise at Capstone Direct Mortgage. And today we're gonna talk about your different options for lenders. What are the different options that are out there for you that you can use to go out and uh, either refinance your house or actually buy a, a new house? And so we're gonna go through a couple of those different options for you. The first option is a mortgage broker. A mortgage broker is somebody that is a middleman. So they take your package and then they have 25 or different lenders that they shop your loan to, right? And so they are not gonna fund your loan. They're not gonna underwrite your loan. They're gonna actually send it out to somebody else outside of their office, another lender to actually fund and underwrite your loan to get it closed. The, the pros of that is that there's 25 people that they're gonna shop your loan with and they're gonna find out what the best program, the best rate is in, in that scenario. The downside is that they lose a lot of control once it leaves their office. So once that loan, once your package is submitted to the lender that is actually gonna fund your loan, they don't have any control of that process. They don't have control of the timing. They don't have control of who the underwriter is. Uh, they don't have control of the appraisal process and they don't have control of uh, when your loan is going to fund and that lender actually holds all the cards so if they get super busy then it's it's not so great for your loan so if if one of those lenders gets you know gives really really lower interest rates then their volume is going to go up and you, the service levels are going to go down so there's pros and cons to the the, the mortgage broker the second option is Big banks. Big banks is who you do your checking account with, who you have your savings account with, maybe a CD, etc. So the big banks, they have their own rules, their own guidelines, and they have their own money and they can do what they want to with your loan, right? So the pros and cons of using a big bank uh, are these. The first thing is the pro they have their own money, they have their own rules, they can decide what they wanna do. And generally when they make that decision, they are going after those particular loans and they're gonna have a good rate and a good program for that. But they only offer that you know, one, generally one program that is a really good uh, program. The, the cons of the big banks is that they are a big bank and there's a lot of bureaucracy and a lot of uh, people that have to go through and touch your file. So there's bureaucracy that slows down the process and at the same time, it's really hard for people, you as the borrower or more importantly, your uh, real estate agent to contact them and to get an updated status from them. So your loan kind of gets lost in the process, but who you talk to and how you get an updated status is a really difficult piece. And so the, the real estate agents, when they get a pre-approval letter from a big bank, they do not like seeing those pre-approval letters because of that bureaucracy that, that they have at the big banks. The third option is a mortgage lender. A mortgage lender is a direct lender, is a hybrid of the mortgage broker and the big banks. The the, the con of a mortgage lender is, whereas the mortgage broker has 20, 25 different lenders that they're gonna kind of show your loan to, uh, the mortgage lender, the direct mortgage lender, generally is gonna fund your loan uh, because they're, they know what the best possible rates are at that point in time, and then they're gonna sell your loan to whoever has the best possible rates and programs at the time the loan is funded. So the mortgage broker is doing it up front, the mortgage lender is doing it on the back side. Uh, the, the pros of a mortgage lender is that they have all the different programs available. Uh, they've got the conventional FHA, VA, uh, reverse mortgages, jumbo loans. So they can do all of those programs, kind of like the mortgage broker. Uh, unlike the big bank, the big bank usually has one program that they're really good at. But the other positive of the mortgage lender is that they generally have an underwriter on staff, they have a funder on staff, and their processor are, are processors are on staff. So 
your loan doesn't get shopped out to 25 different people. It stays in-house. We have all of our people in-house. They control the process. Capstone is a direct lender. The boost, the actually the even better part of this at Capstone, we are uber focused on making sure that the customer is taken care of. We have notifications that go out to you and your real estate agent as to what the status is of your particular transaction, whether it's approved, the closing disclosure is out, the loan documents are out, your loan is funded. We tell you along the way, in fact, we're trying to preempt the phone calls in to, talk, to ask us what the status is. But <clears throat> when we do get a phone call, we answer our phones and make sure that we give you an updated status. So that's kind of Capstone in general is a direct lender. All three of these options are not bad options. They are all viable options that you might have uh, when you're out shopping for a home loan. So I suggest that you actually go out and shop and, and look and see what's the best option for you. Hopefully this has given you a lot of information to make your own decision. On our website, there is a blog that will actually offer you a little bit more information on a couple of other niche lenders that are out there that, that you might be interested in. So you can go there and check it out. But otherwise, thanks for watching MortgageWise with Mike Wise at Capstone Direct, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.